Okay, today is a big day. So the last two tests that Heavy D and team did, Ron and I actually were unfortunately not able to make it out. But now, today is test day number three. I think they have figured out all the weak links on the cyber tracks. So uh, today's gonna be an exciting day. So step one is getting cyber tracks on the trailer, to which it totally does not fit at all. <laughs> this thing doesn't fit at all. It's like a foot and a half off each side. <laughs> Look at this. Oh yeah, she'll be fine. It'll be good and everything will be great. <laughs> it's so weird just actually seeing it on the tracks here, but uh, we're gonna load up, we're going about an hour north of here, and we're, uh, we're gonna try to get a little rowdy in this thing. have the nice commodity of flying out here on a helicopter. We just made it out here with the Cybertruck. But you know who does? It's Dave. Dave. Dude, good. Hey dude, not all of us can be that cool. So I'm glad someone's doing it. Somebody's gotta do it. <laughs> hey, but the big question is, are we breaking it today or is it is it staying together? I feel like it's gonna stay together as long as we want it to, and then I'll probably break it. That's there kind of the we way go. that it goes. There we go. That's kind of your I thing. Push it. Dude, how are you guys doing? Good, yeah. how are you? Good. Good to see you, dude. Good We're stoked for today. I'm so yeah. stoked. You You're riding that thing or what? We gotta find somebody who knows how to use one. That was like this close to coming off. You can see the cyber truck has a full build done to it. We added Baja Designs lights, we added our own. A 12 volt battery system to the bed that charges up the trucks inverter. We built custom bumpers. We built uh, custom steps or custom rocker panels. Basically, we matched all the stainless steel components, but we had to remove a bunch of parts because we needed to make some room so that the tracks would clear without destroying the body. We've had this thing out. We've tested it once, twice. I believe this is test number three. On the first test, we had some parts fail that we kind of knew were going to fail. So we took it back to the shop. We beefed up the entire steering system. The tie rods used to be like the size of a pencil. Now they're like you know inch thick tube uh, we completely changed the suspension we built new upper control arms because the factory ones just kind of folded like paper uh, we added coil over shocks from fox we disabled the air ride suspension so it's just basically at this ride height no matter what it's not going to be trying to do adjustments we locked out the rear steer we've done a bunch of different things to get this thing just dialed and ready to go so today is the day that we tested out and we are going to push this thing hard i got to be honest with you guys when i came into this project i thought that tesla was not going to be happy about it i thought they were going to be super protective they didn't want people modifying their vehicle turns out i was way wrong they have been nothing but super friendly super supportive and insanely excited about the modifications that we've done to the cyber truck so enough talking Let's go find some powder. First impressions are it is driving way better than it has at any point up until now. Um, everything just feels way more solid. It doesn't feel like the suspension's trying to freak out and make decisions because it doesn't know what's going on because we disabled it. We disabled trash control. We disabled pretty much all of the vehicle stability systems because they just don't know what to do with these tracks and the snow and all this stuff. So it is running significantly better. And uh, you know, it's still got its weak links. I think at the end of the day, we still have like a giant track assembly with like a foot of leverage attached to a spindle knuckle bearing assembly that was never intended to have that much load on it. So I know that it's gonna fail at some point. Oh! I just don't know if it's gonna be today or a year from now, but I feel way more confident and the steering is way better. Everything just feels way better. So we are off to a really good start today. We're just gonna get wild right off the bat here. We're gonna go up a real steep powder hill. That doesn't feel real steep at all actually. Wow. 
Wow, dude. Yeah, that's incredible. <laughs> this thing, it really is kind of the perfect vehicle for this setup because it has all that instant uh, torque and horsepower from the electric motors. Um, these Hell Tracks are built to withstand a lot of power. I mean, they bolt them on to 1,000 horsepower, you know, Hellcat power to Gladiators all the time. Um, Gladiator is a little bit lighter than this, but it's got beefier axles, so it can hold the power. Um, this thing, now that we've kind of done the modification of the drivetrain, this is insane. Like, it feels so stable. I would feel totally comfortable loading this thing full of skiers and going to the top of any ski resort around, like the steepest runs. Yeah, just effortless. Visibility in this thing is not as good as I thought it would be. Alright, hey, so we made it to the top of the mountain. It, on paper, this thing sounds sick, and in person, it's even better. Also, the truck throws up so much roost that the back end completely disappears. You can't even see it because it's coated in snow. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Don't start giving me the freaking wiggle treatment. Yeah, that rear track is not. Dude, I mean it. That was pretty steep, and it ate it up. Well, <laughs> Jeez. that was it. <laughs> yeah, saw that one coming. Damn, that snapped the entire spindle. Look at that. That is absurd. Oh. <laughs> that is so much force. <laughs> hey, dude, it, it looks so cool for a sec, oh, yeah. though. It looks so it. sick for a sec. Yeah, I knew that was going to be a weak link, but I didn't know it was going to happen right now. But it was also, it was in limp mode. I can't get it to drive again. <laughs> Nothing we made broke. Yeah. Play. <laughs> yeah, it's all been, it's all been um, factory parts that have failed so far. So, just came down this hill here, and... Uh, literally snapped the spindle in half, which is incredible. I don't even know how we did that. That is, uh, that is quite the thing to break. And we're not gonna be able to get it off the mountain like that. You tell I didn't like it. Yeah. Well, well hey dude, wild. this is all part of- It's all part of What that. it's here for. Yeah. All right, so test number three. I think that was what, 15 minutes? Maybe? How long has that been? Yeah, 15 minutes about. Yeah. Amazing 15 minutes though. That is waited. wild. That snapped that freaking two inch thick piece of cast I didn't aluminum. Think that was yeah, how did it feel in there? It just felt like it sounded. <laughs> Clunk. Let's see if this thing can uh, still roll a little bit even with a snap spindle. Oh you my. Wanna try to tie it real quick with the strap? Give me a second, I. Ciao!
All right, hey, let's, let's get a quick look here and uh, do a little damage assessment. So you can see here, it's broken. Did that last any longer or shorter than you expected? That's probably about average. average. Actually, maybe a little bit longer even. It was a long adventure today. Yeah, it was like, what, 15 minutes? Was that how long it was? Oh yeah, that's probably twice as long as usual. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess it's not a bad deal when the Cybertruck breaks. Yeah, my Uber's almost here. <laughs> Uber Air. That's what happens when you get lemon, do you try to make lemonade? We don't have any sugar. <laughs> <laughs> 